Hey guys, Tip here. So today we will do a quick review on the upcoming new hero which is Hannah, the Grim Ripple and I will share with you guys about my first impression on this girl. So basically, she is a water type hero who deals melee damage by using a star weapon and before we jump right into her skill set, let's talk about her party buff first. At first, I thought that Hannah party buff was gonna be either melee attack or water attack but in the end, it turns out to be crit chance. So here's the thing. Many people always thought that crit party buff on melee team is a terrible idea just like weapon skill jump speed but in fact, crit party buff actually does much more better than we expected. So in my previous video, I have also tested out crit party buff on the melee team and surprisingly it works pretty well even for the melee team as long as you pair her up with the one defensive party buff and also one melee attack party buff. But still, if you want to compare between crit and melee attack play buff, melee attack still comes first and is much more valuable compared to crit because you can run a team and do well with 2 defensive play buff plus 1 melee attack but not really with 2 defensive play buff plus 1 crit chance. So crit chance is only good only if you have at least 1 melee attack play buff to back it up for more attack states but overall crit chance on melee is still pretty good as long as you build with the right team. So moving on to a default attack, her default attack is kind of similar to lead which I think is pretty good because you can hit the enemies while you're moving besides she can also last steal on the default attack in every 3 seconds if you use the X weapon while for the weapon skill she is a 4 skill chain hero with extremely short weapon skill cooldown which is only 4 seconds so you can keep on spamming the skill all over again and her weapon skill hits pretty hard as well and moving on to the last part which is special skill she also has a pretty interesting kit which is becoming invisible for 4 seconds after her HP drops to 0 and I think that this is pretty big because as long as the enemies didn't pop your invisible buff and chain you at last second then you always have a chance to turn the table and win the match. Besides, she will also get the attack speed buff and movement speed buff right after she pop the invisible buff so I guess this hero mechanic is kind of similar to like if I can't win against you then I'm going to bring you down with me. So eventually, you can't want to build her with at least 1 melee attack party buff in the team so that you can fully utilize her special skill. So overall, I would say she is a very strong arena unit and it is very worth to pull for her if you are the melee players. So there are actually two teams that you can build for her which is Hana, Arena and Lin or Hana, Arena and Lilith. Team 1 is strong against range meta team while team 2 is strong against melee meta team. So the best possible team party buff for Hannah will still be 1 crit, 1 defensive party buff and 1 melee attack. And the reason why FP isn't here is because Arena is still the better main core compared to FP and if using a 2 tank buff plus 1 crit isn't going to bring out the full potential of Hannah. So that's all for today's video and I hope you guys enjoy watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!